This is the story of Lake Sambal and how you might have been swimming in a gold mine if you've ever visited Beechworth before. I'm in the historic gold mining town of Beechworth, Victoria, and the lake behind me here is Lake Sambal. What you might not know is that is an old hydraulic gold mine. Back in 1865, the Rocky Mountain Gold Mining Corporation formed, and one of its first commercial mining operations was Lake Sambal. In fact, you can still see some of the high-velocity river-worn quartz that they left behind in the banks here. The Rocky Mountain Gold Mining Company was a company dedicated to ground sluicing, where they would use high-pressure water cannons to blast away the soil and funnel them through sluice boxes they had built within that soil. And it was so efficient, the end result is what you see here. This is a huge hole that was mined using water cannons. And today I want to take you to a special spot, thanks to the Beechworth Council who eventually put a trail in around this, because when I was a kid, we used to go to this spot to go and get drunk. I didn't know I was doing that on top of a gold mine. And there was never a trail here. This was just bush that we had to go and clamber over people's rubbish dump piles. Free boat. There was so much sludge coming out of the Rocky Mountain mining operation that they had to create a whole separate tunnel under the town just to discharge it away. But that's another video. And it's how you know you're sitting on an ancient riverbed. We have big river gravels sitting in the bank. The only way rocks form like this is with lots of water and lots of time. Nice. Go back to where you belong. White line. Oh, they didn't get it all. I remember that drum. <laughs> where I'm taking you today is called the clay banks. Now the clay banks are the leftover products of their hydraulic mining. So when they were blasting away with their water cannons, the earth would slump off and it would leave these very unique land formations. And this is those just here. You can see here that they've actually put silt dams in so this doesn't continue to erode. Yeah, you're not gonna trick me into stepping in that. These are the clay banks that I'm interested in today. I wanna to take a sample out of one of these gutters just to see if there's any gold left where the Rocky Mountain crew finished. I'm up high, I'm up real high. Right, let's leave the four shores and go to the interior. For those that wanna know, this is where I used to get drunk. It wasn't as sloppy. This doesn't seem safe. Nonetheless, it led me to where I want to be. This looks like a good gunner. Now to graciously slide down it. Kind of like this. Whee. In 1920, they ceased mining operations in this area and turned this into a public recreation reserve that you can come and visit today. Swim, kayak, boat, do all sorts of stuff. But I'm gonna guess that these clay banks still hold a little bit of gold. And what I'm looking for is a concentrator. You can see these water erosion channels here. Well, they're funneling off several different sections of this soil. And that means everything has to travel through this one area. And so what I'm gonna find out today is, is there any gold here? Likely there's a whole area over here that I can kind of pan into. Free boat. Ooh, yes. Now obviously there's no guarantee we're going to get gold here, but it'd be kind of cool to see at least one flake. Well, that's probably why the Rocky Mountain Mining Corporation walked off these gold fields because I haven't found anything, even though it was just one pan. So yeah, the clay banks at Lake Sample, a little bit of mining history, and you might have been swimming in a gold mine for all these years and never known. If you're like me, drinking Jack Daniels with your mates when you're meant to be at home asleep. Sorry, mum.